Hello, welcome to the OI Days. Today I've got a video for you, and we're gonna make our own soap again. And it's like a big candy can, um, but then a diameter of it, like the middle bit of it. So colors white and pink ish, reddish. Uh, yeah, we need melt and pour uh, soap base. We need some red coloring, a bowl, just to. Uh, yeah, melt it up in the microwave. We need a knife to cut the, the soap a little bit smaller. And a stir. And two, um, yeah, either paper or rubbery molds. Um, you can use plastic cups as well, that's fine. Uh, but red shape, preferably. Round shape, preferably, sorry. So we're gonna cut the soap through half. A bit smaller, so it's easier to melt it in the microwave. So about 30 seconds in the microwave, and then we need to stir it um, to see how far it is. If it needs a bit more, it needs a bit more, that's fine. All right. We add some red coloring to it, and we stir it to mix it all up. So you got the coloring that you prefer. You can make it slightly red or leave it like slightly pinkish. So I add a little bit more. I really like it. And it's a really nice strong color. And we're gonna pour it into the mold. Right, I'm gonna leave it in the fridge to cool it down slightly quicker. And then, uh, yeah, to speed up the process. So that's all solid. So I'm gonna take it out of the mold. Press it in the bowl. All right, that's how it looks. I'm gonna cut it in straight lines. So make it through half, like kind of cake. Um, slices and then we're going to cut it through right that's all cut up and then um, we're going to place them back into the mold but we're going to keep some space in between the pieces and you will see later why or how so a uh, four pieces in each it's about kind of uh, yeah um, space between the pieces so we we're gonna warm up the other soap mixture and we're gonna pour that into it and that way you get two different colors Yeah, so another base soap we're going to melt down and then we're going to continue. Alright, that's in the microwave and that's done. It's slightly a bit of pinkish because I had a little bit of leftover pieces of pink in there. Um, it's a good idea to pour it but try not to pour it over the pink pieces. Or you can pour it over the pink pieces, it's fine. It's better not to, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah, we're gonna need a bit more for this other mold to fill that up as well. So, it's, um, yeah, poured everything in, so you can still see red coloring. And uh, we're gonna put it in the fridge. So, that's been in the fridge. They're solid, so we're gonna take them out. If you can't take out like that, that's the easy idea of paper. You can just take out the mold like that.
They look uh, nice, but still you can't see the, the pink very well. So we're going to cut it a bit straight with the knife. Be careful. And that way you will see through the mold and you can see the red pieces and the white pieces. Same on the other side. It's not very even either. So we're gonna just cut it, cut it even. And we have a flat. Both, both of the sides are flat and they look good. You can see both of the colors good as well. I think that looks really nice. You can you keep the leftovers because you can remold them down Add some more coloring to it or for a different kind of mold uh, you can keep, still use them all right that's all done i hope you enjoyed our video and i hope you like the soap we have loads more soap videos for you as well like different ideas different colors different molds different sizes and yeah give us your opinion down below if you did like our video please subscribe to our channel down below for free as well and you always be the first one to be informed about new videos. Uh, we've got loads of videos, trust me, not just about making soap, but also making a lip balm, some knitting videos, some crochet videos, you name it. So have a look onto that, especially for the seasons, uh, the Christmas times, we've got loads of ideas for you. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, please ask and we're happy, we're happy to answer. Hopefully we'll see you soon and next time at Diabetes. Have a good day. Bye.